is in our side. Amanza. Oliver Reginald Tambo, a man of many faces, a committed father, a teacher, a loyal comrade, a prolific leader who managed the ANC in exile. He was the tireless diplomat who crisscrossed the world marketing the beliefs of the ANC and the need for a new political dispensation. This is the man who has brought us to the verge of freedom. Flashback to 1981 and the funeral of a veteran journalist Joe Kabi. Kabi was killed by an apartheid hit squad. Zimbabwe accorded him a state funeral and it was an indication that Zimbabwe stood allied to freedom fighters and pro-democracy activists. Mugabe's Zimbabwe became a safe haven for many exiles. Years after his death, the Sadek region commemorates O.R. Tambo. I personally know that you had various interactions with Comrade Tambo during his lifetime as the president of the ANC. Upon atten attaining a Zimbabwe's independence, it was Comrade Tambo himself who personally approached you to discuss the possibility of opening the ANC office in Harare then. <clears throat> it was still called Salisbury. <laughs> <clears throat> you were aware of the risks associated with accepting such a request, yet <clears throat> you concurred. Tambo will remain a hero. We shall always remember him together as a freedom fighter who is a, a national hero, as we call those of our own who distinguish themselves in the fight against imperialism. Next week, both Zambia and South Africa will commemorate the life and time of this African giant. President Jacob Zuma and his Zambian counterpart Edgar Lungu will visit his house in Lusaka, Zambia, where he spent time while he was in exile. So, Fimukwena, SABC News, Johannesburg.